We all know that using music in your classroom or your studio to teach is an unbelievably effective way to teach all kinds of concepts in class. We're talking about language, literacy, fine and gross motor skills, improving your memory, your learning capabilities, your social and your emotional uh, connections, all kinds of benefits. Learning music from the ages of three to five is crucial in every child's development. Now, we all know these things. Music can help children learn through play, but it's easy to get stumped, to feel like you don't have that confidence in your own musical skills to teach through songs. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can bring music into your classroom or your private studio or your homeschool or your daycare or preschool and give you all the tools that you simply cannot live without. These resources are sitting right under your nose, waiting to be discovered, waiting for you to print, watch, and consume. Welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Miss Deb, baby toddler, preschool music specialist. I'm an author, a children's songwriter, and a content creator. I've created this YouTube channel to help you grow your teacher business so it becomes a pillar in your community. Now, whether you teach at home or in a daycare or preschool, public school, therapy setting, kids are going to stop you in the parking lot. Yay! Miss Deb! Miss Deb! Miss Jennifer! Miss Tara! Whatever your name is! They are going to stop you waving frantically because they are excited to see you because you are a rock star. Yes, this can happen to you. I am not going to give you a bunch of boring mambo jumbo that you can't use. There are enough YouTube videos for that. <laughs> Today I am going to give you all of the tools that I use in my teaching that have enabled me to stand out in my community and be known as the preschool music teacher. Now I know you want that for yourself, so let's get started. Let's start with some free worksheets. We're gonna head over to my TPT page, and now I'm not gonna talk about a worksheet package that's gonna last you two or three classes. I'm talking about a huge collection of worksheets that incorporate literacy and numeracy along with music. These are concepts that kids absolutely love learning about. Coloring, tracing, sorting, seriously fun stuff. Let's take a peek here. All right, we've got the free vocal exploration, following all those little lines. Ooh, kids can trace along, they can color the characters. There's little music notes that they can find and color as well. Letter search. Here we're talking about reinforcing all these letters, A through G, because those are the letters of the musical alphabet. Each of these worksheets has a character that is named after the letter, which your child can identify with. They think of the letter E right away. Ellie Elephant pops into their head. Eh, eh, eh. Ellie Elephant, E, E, E. Finding the notes, my favorite note, piano keys. All right, we can find all the same characters where they land on their note. Favorite notes. This is a wonderful resource right here, piano note printables. In here, you can cut out all the cards. You wanna print them on heavy cardstock or laminate them and cut them out hours and hours of playtime. We've got two different configurations here. We have a full-size keyboard. Well, it's not full-size, but you know what I mean, with, with more than just the groups of two or groups of three, or you can print it out and have it separate for in the very beginning when they are still identifying the groups of two and three. There are so many possibilities with this worksheet. It is 
just insane. Lines and spaces, well, we've got a super fun song video to go along with this to help your child identify line notes, space notes, and where they all fall on the staff. Treble and bass manipulatives. These, again, you'll want to print them out on heavy cardstock, but really, I suggest you laminate. Laminate everything, because then it all lasts. It's reusable year and year after year. You only pay for that investment once to laminate and all the time of cutting out, but you have that stuff forever. Sticker reward charts. And again, look at all the fun characters. So your child really identifies with all of the music and the storybooks and, and the songs, just so much stuff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we're finding letters in here. Meet the notes, each note has its own note. We got quick Kip the quarter note, Silly Willy the whole note, and Hugo the half note. Tracing, coloring, all kinds of fun stuff. Playing notes with friends. Well, these ones are clapping worksheets. You can clap along and you can color the animals because this helps reinforce all the learning. Tracing the letters. A lot of preschoolers don't know the letters yet. They don't know how to draw A. They don't know how to draw B. They certainly don't know how to draw G. <laughs> this gives them the opportunity to really work on their fine motor skills and create that hand-eye coordination, especially with all the coloring and stuff. Uh, for later on, we've got identifying notes um, and more. Tracing hands, a bonus pack, numbers. Numbers are so important. One to five because that's how many fingers we have on each hand. So in music class, each finger has a number, starting with their thumbs as number one. Lesson plans. These are free. They go along with the storybooks. You don't really need to have the storybooks to use lesson plans. All you need to do is download the worksheets and you can just follow the lesson plans with the worksheets. And some more numbers, finding numbers, hunting them down. So see, there's tons of resources on our TPT page. Next up, let's talk about videos. Now, I know some of you might say, I can't play movies while I'm teaching, we're not allowed, or videos are a waste of time. And I'm gonna prove you wrong here, and let me show you why. The worksheets that you just saw on my Teacher Pay Teachers page are totally interactive with all of the free videos on our YouTube channel, yes. Interactive. When you are teaching about letters, check out our little video on the animal friends. So let's head on over. We're going to go to videos, playlists, sorry. We're going to go to playlists and let's find music notes, songs, music for children. Here we are. Oh, it's the note friends song. <laughs> We can learn all about the different note friends. This video really is taken from the first workbook, activity book. We talk about Kip and Hugo and how to draw them. And this video shows you exactly how to draw them. Here we go. We've got some instructions. Round and round, around we go. Add a stem. It could be up or it could be down. <laughs> Color your quarter note in. You got the idea. So it goes through all the different notes and it even has a little clapping thing at the end here. Let's clap the half notes. Clap, 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 clap. So you can see exactly how this is interactive. Now, um, these characters will help your kidlets to identify and connect with learning their language skills. Now, I still can't convince you, don't you worry. You can sing these songs without the video. All you have to do is learn the rhymes and the chants and the music, and you will get to know these songs. These songs are so catchy. They will just stick in your mind forever. They are easy, they are repetitive, and they are predictable, which are exactly the things that kids need to learn. 
great let's head over to another type of video that we have on our site here we're gonna go over to um, it's my favorite note I'll show you the pre-reading version because it's probably more appropriate for you what we're doing here is we are introducing all of the note animal friends in a super fun and engaging way piano notes here we go C T and E oh yes favorite note right before the two black keys. C. C. And you repeat woof, that woof, sound. Dog, oh, you can make the animal feet. sounds. Woof, woof. Right in between the two Ooh, black keys. Ooh, between the, the two black keys. keys. Now, if you have downloaded the worksheets, let me show you the printable worksheets here with the cards this guy right here you can play along with that video you give your little kidlets the group of two or the group of three black notes and you give them the character cards or maybe you want to try doing it with the letters i would definitely start with the character cards first because they make a lot more sense for the kids. They're a lot more fun. A lot of times at this age, we're still learning the letters. So that should be the next step up. And of course, the characters all show their letter on their collar. Let's, let's get you to show back up here. Um, I wanted to see a character. Oh, let's see. Where's a big one? I just keep missing them. Uh, okay, anyhow. They do have a collar. See, there's their collar. The letter D is inside. So they can look and they can find. But the thing is, these are so repetitive. They see the same characters in all of the worksheets. So it is very reinforced. Every time they see Chloe cat, they see C. And they think cat, C, K, K, K. C says K, right? Well, sometimes it's soft and says C. But anyhow, you got my idea. E, Ellie Elephant, E, Chloe Cat, C, Daisy Dog, D. Repetition, key. All right, let's take a look at some other types of videos that I have on my site here. Let's look at all of these. Now this is Let's Play D. So this is a playlist that has all videos to reinforce D. We're learning about Daisy Dog's notes. Again, you can use those same little worksheets to reinforce. Kids are sitting at a desk or a table, or maybe they're sitting at the piano bench, and you can have all those things ready. One, two, ready, go. This is a clapping one. Loves to dance, hold. Now let's turn the sound on, because we're not singing the words. We're singing the letters. Hold, D, holds. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Gotta have some positive reinforcement Try there. Again. Try again. Most of these videos, I go through them three Ready? times, because for me, three is the perfect number. Now we're singing the words. Loves to dance, hold. I love Daisy, dog, hold. Wolf, hold. So these videos go along with the second activity book. Now you would think an activity book is just a coloring book. It's something that you don't um, have songs to go with, but that's not what Tiny Tinkles is about. Tiny Tinkles is about really reinforcing and engaging little learners to be completely immersed in learning music learning literacy, learning all these skills that will help grow their development. Right, we're gonna move along to a game style quiz. I wanna show you that. Um, let's go back to the My Favorite Notes because I didn't show you a quiz now. This one is just a little exercise. Let's go to the quiz. So this is a little bit harder and it's where students actually have to guess. This could be something that you do in a group or it could be something that you do one on one. Who could it be? Daisy. 
<laughs> we have to guess. So you could have your little kidlets having to hold up the little card with the character on it while they guess. They don't necessarily have to say it out loud because some kids at this age are not ready to use their voice, but they are ready to hold a card up or they are ready to, to you know, point to that character. So meet them at their level, keep them comfortable. Okay, now let me show you something else. If we go back to the video playlist, we're gonna go to music with tweet. Now, I am just learning how to do puppeting. I haven't been doing it for very long. So this is kind of new for me. This is where I want piano for kids, music with tweet. Let's go here. I think some of these are um, high and low sounds. So this is a video that is based on the first storybook. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about low sounds and high sounds. These are videos that you don't have to watch together. You could have them in a newsletter if you want, and your kids could watch them at home with their parents. It could be part of an extracurricular activity. You could grab your own puppet during class. You could do the same things that I'm doing only in your classroom. I provide you with all these ideas. It's all about how you are going to be a rock star, how you can use all these suggestions to make your teaching shine. Okay, here we go. Tweet is gonna find some high notes and low notes. Oh yes, we need to practice. Okay, let's go to the game. Okay, we're reaching up high and low. Dancing! This is a super fun song. You can download the music on my Bandcamp page. Soon these are going to be available on Spotify and Apple Play Music. Um, I've just got <laughs> so much on my list to do right now. I'm trying to sift through it all. Okay, I wanted to go through and show you the high and low game and that's in this other video. So let's just skip ahead. We're talking about reading the story a few pages high and low here we go Ready? Woof. woof so you want your child to imitate that sound woof 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 low tweet says it's low and you know what if your little kidlet forgets not forgets if your little kidlet says the answer and you think it's wrong don't worry about it because these are kind of subjective answers <laughs> i tried my best to classify each of the sounds as high or low pa -woo! so that one of course pa -woo! it kind of goes down at the end right but i think overall pa -woo is a high sound what do you think i love to hear what you think <laughs> write it in the comments below but yeah subjective you always want to encourage your child and let them know that they are trying their best and that is all that matters is that they're trying at this point they're thinking about things so we're back <laughs> we're back <laughs> there's lots of stuff in here now if we go to black and white key groups again here these videos aren't perfect but they're meant to be fun and playful and like i said you can totally recreate these things on your own all the music that i've written is super duper easy to play now i am a perform a piano performer like i have um I play at the ARCT level and I've been teaching for over 25 years, but that's not the music that little kids need. They don't need to listen to that stuff. Sure, it's great for them to listen to, but they are gonna get the most out of listening to those primary chords, tonic, subdominant, dominant, um, Come on, like we got to keep it simple for them so that they can learn. When you start doing math, you don't start with trigonometry. So let's not do that for kids. Let's keep things simple. Let's set up our kids for success. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're doing. We're talking about white and black notes. 
I want to get to the cartoon part. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, now we're going to play along. So this is a great video that you could put on your tablet and have it on your fall board or on your music stand so that your little one can play along. Or you could use the little printable charts if you wanted to. Each child could have a chart at their desk. All right. The whole point of this series is to make you shine as a teacher. Do what you feel comfortable with. Teach the way that you love to teach. Use my videos, use my music as a guide. If you can play an instrument, you pick that instrument up. You play it because you are the rock star. Your kids are looking up to you. Just do your best and they will love you. If you look just below this video, you'll find a little box that says show more. Click on that box and inside there you will find a link to our Teachers Pay Teachers site and to our Facebook group Freebie Music for Preschool Music Teachers or something like that. <laughs> If you want to watch more little learning videos for your little musicians, check out this playlist right here. Print, download, and I'll see you next time when I give you a full tour of the Tiny Tinkles Little Musician series.